Welcome back and welcome forward into the end of Marvel's Spider-Man as you tap in to the root of the symmetry and tune in to the mind of Mercury for a fantastic episode of Symmetry Plays. I am excited to see how this game concludes and what's the lit is once this game concludes we still have a bunch of DLC to explore. So the story is not over and the costume changes that Chase Clarence Calloway gets to make are also not over in real life and in the game. So before we hop into this story mission, I'm about to change my suit digitally. This costume is too hot, it's too fire, it's too sexy. It's too beautiful. Shout out Felicia for hooking me up. All right, getting a man connected. That being said, there is a specific costume that I feel like represents symmetry the most. If there's any symmetry Spider-Man here, we're about to pick him. We're about to get right in here with Spirit Spider. All right, he's got the skull, he's got the teeth. Okay, very important. Honestly, that's just Symmetry Spider-Man right there. I mean, it's Ghost Rider Spider-Man, but the point is, spiritually, you built your skull so that you can communicate with spaces outside of yourself. So it's really important that you make sure that your teeth are properly arranged in your skull. So if you don't know that your teeth and your spine are connected and that your skeleton is supposed to have more space to communicate and not less, then you're going to want to check out chaseyourgenes.com and hop into decolonize your face because that's my Spider-Man work in this lifetime, seeing how everything inside the body is connected. This is why I'm sort of such a health expert, all right, way beyond anyone who's stolen my caduceus and are using it to make the medical industry a thing, okay? This is why they need my caduceus to make the medical industry more relevant anyway, Okay, so when you know that Hermes is a spirit that builds structures for other spaces to connect with and communicate upon, now you can see why Hermes is the god of anatomy, the god of astrology, the god of physics, the god of science, the god of magic, the god of alchemy, the, the god of just communication in general. And this is all coming from the space of Mercury because Mercury is a simulation that sends away all these messengers to communicate into the universe. So this is why Mercury is known as the interdimensional Spider-Man way before Marvel steals Mercury's ideas and then turns it into something that they can make money off of, right? Because that's all it's about for them, money. But money itself is a concept that they stole from Metatron because otherwise white people would have nothing. So they have to make up something that allows them to steal the creations of black people. And now here we are speaking English, right? Focusing on whiteness, focusing on light supremacy, white supremacy. Everyone is a slave to money and money is in God we trust. So we're rocking with spirit spider. Okay. Symmetry spider. Symmetry is here to let you know how the universe is created, how balance is restored, and how you are the avatar or the Spider-Man. You are anyone you want to be, but the point is don't be a colonizer. Be yourself. Be an infinite individual. Okay, now you can make up your own thing, and now people are going to be you. Now people want to copy you, right? And then people will endlessly for the rest of the time copy you because you made up something that goes so hard, people don't want to be seen as themselves. They want to be seen as you. This is why Spider-Man has copycats. So we're about to spark this bowl. We are about to engage in the end of this story and see what is literally in store for us. For me to get this costume, I had to do like a good amount of challenges. So if you want to see the challenges, we can do that. But right now we're focusing on finishing the game. I do love this new Spider-Man suit. And what I do love about this is that this is Spider-Man when he finally gets into his Taurus energy, right? Because he's a Leo. So Leos don't make sense. Leos don't make money. They don't build structures that support their imagination. 
They would just rather experience their imagination. So this is the difference of fire and earth. Earth builds structures that support the imagination. Fire is simply experiencing your imagination. So if you don't have earth, then your fire is not going to make sense. Do you see why nature is based in earth and not based in fire? Because it's literally about earth building a structure that allows the imagination to be real. Whereas fire is simply the passion that is wanting to experience the imagination. So the spirit creates fire when it expresses an imagination. Then the spirit creates water when it wants to connect with that imagination. Then the spirit creates air when it wants to communicate that imagination. And then the spirit creates earth when it wants to practicalize and stabilize that imagination. Now you can see literally all four elements cycling together into a psychedelic effect to create a family that we call your blood, your plasma. So now you know how your body works. I just explained to you how your body works, literally, and how your body is an amalgamation of all the elements coming together so that you can manipulate yourself into existence. I wish uh, science was on this, but the point is they stole everything from Mercury. They made Spider-Man, they made Marvel, and uh, it's all to keep you ignorant and make you worship concepts outside of yourself. So the people who teach you that you can't have superpowers and that you need to sacrifice your life to Jesus are going to create these concepts and make money off of trapping your imagination because you still wish that you had powers because the fact is you do have powers when you close your eyes, when you dream, when you imagine in general. So it's all about imagination. It's all about religions, superheroes of the modern religion, and it's all coming from a Jewish thought and Jewish thoughts are completely stolen from indigenous thoughts. So it's just their whitewashing of what they can barely understand from what they have stolen from indigenous individuals who actually know what's up and they're just happily building structures so that they can connect in a way that makes sense, right? That's what it means to be indigenous. You're happy alone and then you build structures that allow you to connect in a way that makes sense versus the opposite of indigenous, which is basically, I guess, European based on this language and how they feel about themselves or white people, they don't feel like they have um, an imagination where they're happy alone. So now they need to go out and conquer and crusade other people's lands. They need to say that we're all going to go to hell if we don't serve them. And then we have to follow all their made up shit. So this is the space that Marvel's created from. And this is why Spider-Man is so poor. <laughs> this is why Spider-Man's constantly in poverty because he's created by Masons to serve the matrix and that's all stolen from metatron okay all those elms are stolen from metatron the elm doesn't even matter without metatron that's their whole point is to keep you poor and to make you think that slavery is normal so spider-man is a slave a complete slave to the system and this isn't just supposed to be normal they actually want you to worship this idea they want you to think that it's noble for him to choose to not be able to afford a place to live when he's literally holding the entire city together, saving like tens of thousands of people at this point in his career. Tens of thousands. So this is how they want you to be. Dang. Yeah, that looks crazy. And I'm ripped now. I'm like, actually, dang, whoa. Yeah, this is Bodybuilder Spider-Man. All right, this is what we're ending the game with, I think. We'll probably change our suit a bit. But yeah, just know, Spider-Man is connection man, okay? And it's way deeper than Spider-Man. The point is knowing what spiders are about. So if you're not aware of that, then watch episode two of my podcast synchronicity because spiders are eight dimensional beings and the universe is an eight dimensional structure so now you can see why spider-man is used to sell the spider-verse and he's supposed to weave the webs of time it's about how spiders do that and he's just riding that energy And they learn all this shit from Mercury, okay? So, it's just about nature and how deep in nature are you consciously aware, right? The people who have created Spider-Man, 
they're not at all aware of how nature is created. That's why we have climate change. All these people are consuming the environment. They're destroying the world around us because they want to eat everything. So they're going to steal and lie just so they can eat. And that's what America was built on. So this is the point of Marvel. To eat your time, eat your attention, and make you not believe in yourself. And believe in the white supremacist ideas that have been stolen from indigenous individuals. Because white people, light people, have nothing original, it seems. They don't have their own ideas. They have to go take what dark people, what black people, created by connecting with themselves. It's like that simple. When you connect with yourself, you create ideas. When you separate from yourself, you want to go steal ideas that other people created from now connecting with themselves. It. Boom. Like now you get air. That's, find the balance in that. Find the balance. Oh, he's doing some shit. Upgrading the suit. Uh oh. Hmm. I'm gonna still pick my spirit spider suit though. But that's that's pretty hot. If they're gonna make me wear that for part of the story, that's fine. Okay, I mean that's fine. Go spirit spider though. But that's so annoying. So he just made that. Are you telling me like he just made that? Like, just willy-nilly on the same night? He walked in there in one costume, made that, and walked out in time to go fight. How fast do they think you can make a costume? No. I wish. Holy fucking shit, I wish. I truly wish I could just walk in to the studio at 9 p.m. and then walk out at 9 a.m. with a totally different suit. That's why he has technology working for him. I'm making shit by hand. If I had the technology he has in that apartment, I guess, or in that lab, the world will know the truth. That'd be nice. Before they mop you off the pavement. Tell them what you did. I never. Everything you have is built on lies. Save him, Spider Man. Oh, he's scared. You stole my company, my ideas. Now, the truth. The truth. Okay. The truth is. You were only Spit ever him. worth a damn when you worked for me. The truth is, yeah, that pride I shit. Never accept that I'm better than you. You're a failure, Otto, and you always will be. God, I love pride. Place in it. He, the wrong he comes man. across so much money every day. But have it your way. Oh, so I have to wear this suit. Do I have to though? Yeah, I do. Throwing shit is pretty satisfying. They really made uh, the functionality satisfying in this game. No, he always bounces back. He has to lose everything. I can't come. It's just more witchcraft. Like 
But Spider-Man, there is no reason for him to stop his bad guys from killing one another. Like, he literally wants to maintain the status quo that hard. I don't understand. I know your weaknesses! I guess this suit's supposed to protect me from his shit? I don't know. Like, his arms are particularly devastating without this suit. Woo! You're just gonna... Keep... Alright. Alright, alright, alright. And he's just pulling those out of thin air. That's crazy. Why do you not dodge? Right in the middle. We need the anti serum now! <laughs> Man. He was supposed to dodge, by the way. I like totally. We don't have much time! Please! I'll turn over the anti serum when Osborne pays for his crime! Well. Spider Man. Why? Oh, give me the anti serum! You've already done enough to run on board! No! He always bounces back! He has to lose everything! Oh. Okay. We don't have much time! Please! I'll turn over the anti serum when Osborne pays for his crimes! How do I, like, really dodge shit? Oh, this is hard. I see you have a new suit. It won't help. I know your weaknesses. I have no weaknesses. Man. throw th those things <laughs> just pulls pipes out of nowhere we don't have much time. Please. too frequently I believe in this fire. Give me the anti serum. You've already done enough to ruin Osborne. No! He always passes back. He has to lose everything. Yes. He literally made this on the same night? I can't... Like, bro. 
How fast are you, Spider-Man? Like, that's crazy. He's truly on his Kessel Kodo shit. Like, he just whipped up a costume and, like, to go fight a bad guy. I feel like trying to grab those things isn't even worth it. Cause like, unless I'm in the air, I guess. I won't try to do that on the ground. In the air it makes sense. But on the ground it's just like, Spider-Man takes too long to throw it. Like, see, that'll happen. I mean, he's supposed to be like pulling metal out of the ground, but it's just hilarious because no metal is disappearing. So it's just endless pipes. He's on his Mario shit. Congrats, bro. I wish I got that kind of power. being able to shoot web when I die just like a very necessary upgrade. I feel like I can focus shot him though. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna need his range to be longer. Like, I don't know why it's so stunted. Spider-Man, get up there. Where are the Avengers? Avengers Towers right there, but there are no Avengers? I refuse to believe. Spider drone on him at all times, bro. Where is he? I'm not protecting him. I'm trying to save the city. 
By protecting him? I think not. You should just let him die, bro. Let Doc Ock kill him and then take Doc Ock in. I'm trying to protect the city. Well, be better, Spider Man. You're only hurting yourself! Uh, I mean, he is holding the city together. This city would have been gone long ago if he wasn't holding it together. Objectively. So. There's always, like, do better, but, like, he, he really doesn't have a place to live. I, this is wrong. Okay. Oh, no, I don't want to be there. I do want a spider drone on him, and then I do want... Try dodging him, Spider-Man. Alright. He was supposed to focus shot him. He was not supposed to die. He was supposed to... He was supposed to get that focus shot. He was not supposed to die. <laughs> Isn't supposed to happen. And it's like, do I have to start all over? Okay, this is a long. I think so. This feels like the start again. Damn. And I have to use this suit. Man. I wanted my spirit spider. I bet if I was spirit spider, this wouldn't even be happening. Right, right. He always bounces back. He has to lose everything. Yay, 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 yay. Yay. Let's go, bro. Let's go. I see you have a new suit. It won't end up playing. Yeah, I gotta start working out to get my Spider-Man uh, body. This game's inspiring, dude. I've been fasting a lot, now I'm just like skinny as fuck. I'm, like, so skinny. He could have dodged that. I don't understand. The anti -serum. Now! I will cure the city after I bring down us! Start doing some backflips to heal, I guess. The fuck? 
Oh, he really wanted to just jump right back into him automatically. That was not me, that was the game being like, no. No backflips. Yes, backflips. I cannot believe that I can see the Avengers Tower, yet yeah, I'm getting no help. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. Yeah, give me that focus bar. Thank you. Hey, alright. Hey. Hey. Okay. Absolutely, I'll take that. Spider-Man! Oh my god. We don't have much time! Please! I'll turn over the anti-serum when Osborne pays for his crime! Spider-Man. Oh, more? I hit him with two this time. Garbage. He should be getting paid, and it's whack. Like, Osborne's not even gonna give him shit for this. Disrespectful ass. Hey, Sonic ass. Okay, well, don't talk about No, Spider. Spider-Man, 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 Spider-Man. All right, it's glitching out. Like, this is not me right now, but I'm trying to make it 
me. Uh, I'll take responsibility, but like that shit was wrong. I'll okay. We're gonna try that again. There we go. Hey. That's why you just need to be able to shoot the webs out of your body, Spider-Man. Tell me why I didn't get that right. Why you need a machine when your body is a machine? Like more spider for the man, please. Oh, okay, he needs to wear this suit for this scene, I understand. Your fucking costume was on the table, Peter. I walked in on you. <laughs> I acted like you were working for a Spider-Man. I won't let you win. This means too much to me. Not more than it means to me. Why? He's angry that he knew. Oh, wow. There are definitely people on that street. Spider-Man, great response. <laughs> I was indeed. Literally working for you for free. What the fuck? Man, people are crazy. Oh, how soon they forget. That man is gone. You can't save me, Peter. Then I guess you'll have to save yourself. He's so strong. Like, tearing metal apart is nothing for Spider Man. It's just crazy. Like, this metal is designed not to break, too. Like, this is meant to, like, throw cars and whatever the fuck. And stop training. I hate that you're making me do this! But now I'm going to change the world. You look tired, Parker. Not tired. Just hurt. Mm. Vulnerable Spider-Man. Sensitive Spider-Man. I'm not tired, I'm just hurt. I'm fucking depressed. <laughs> Let's get this done. Uh, evil. If you want to change the world, you have to be the kind of man who can make the hardest decisions. <gasps> what? I couldn't agree more. And then he's gonna try and save him. I mean, he does need that anti serum. He's gonna try and save him. Okay, no, he's fine. Okay. Okay. Punch him. Bitch! No, you did not. You turn on me, just like all the others. I saw you as a son. I should have known you'd turn on me just like all the others. Your idea of son is retarded. He worshipped you. Your conscience, wanting to help others, the way you never gave up. 
You stupid <laughs> man. Men like us have a duty. Otto is just retarded. Like, like he's not. To use our yeah, his the brain's not there. Others, Even if they don't appreciate it, we have to do what's best for those beneath us. Whether they understand it or not. No, you're wrong. You are everything I wanted to be. You just threw it away. <laughs> yes, of course. You're right, Edith. Oh, I see that now. Oh. The yeah. neural interface affected my mind. Peter, kick his head off. He's like in the perfect position for you to do like a Chun Li. Hi. We can fix it. And then his head just snaps off, and no one knows. If you'll help me. And everyone's better. Do everything I can. I'll make sure you get the best help. No. If they put me away, they'll take my arms. I'll be trapped in this. Useless body. Please, Peter. Kick my head off. That wasn't me. You said you'd never abandon me. You promised. Remember? And of course. You rest easy, knowing your secret is safe with me. Right. You do what you think is best, Doc. It's all any of us can. What? Peter. Even when hurts like hell. Peter, where are you going? Peter? And he just leaves them there so that he can inevitably come back? and keep doing evil shit like i don't understand how that's intelligence in any way it's just not smart there's just nowhere close to smart you don't just leave a guy like that there now do something you really are supposed to kill somebody like that like, he's someone who, like, kills, like, so many people and is happy to go and kill more people. But, like, yeah, I guess trap him in his body. We'll need the entire sample. So he can't just be free. Doses. How long will that take? A few hours. Maybe a day. No, she might live, though. She's here sick, but he got or the medicine. Cure someone right now. And there won't be enough to cure the others. Fuck the others. They're not running this bitch. I'll give you a few minutes. My aunt's running this bitch. She gives priority. There wouldn't be others without her. So he knows that he's Spider-Man then? He knows that Peter's Spider-Man or he knows Spider-Man is Peter. The only reason that Spider-Man would care about Aunt May is because he's Peter. The cure right here. He's got the same build. Take off your mask. I want to see my nephew. Right. You knew? You knew? I've known for a while. I never wanted you to work. I did. And I am so proud of you. And then what do you do? All the people you saved. She is gonna die. This is a dying speech. But he got the medicine. I don't know what to do. Yes, you do. <laughs> right. Is he about to let her die? <laughs> what? He's letting her die? I'm confused. Why did he not put the medicine in? He's not giving her anti-serum? Because he said there would be none left for the others? What? What? But she's dying now. <laughs> he just let her die. I'm confused. 
he just let her die. He had the anti-serum. The dude said, you can't use it now because there won't be enough for the others. But she's dying now. And he got it for her. Right. What? Wouldn't it have only worked on one other person anyway then? Right. It has to go to someone. Let it go to the person who's running Feast. What just happened? What did, what did I just watch, actually? That's crazy. So he just went through all of that to get anti-serum that he didn't even use on her. And he wa he let her die. He watched her die and let her die in front of his eyes. No fucking way. What? Why would he let her die? Like I knew, uh, I said Aunt May is gonna die. That's their thing. But I didn't think it would be in such a beyond unintelligent fashion. What? Dude, no way. No way. This is so bad. He just wanted her to die then. Like, he literally acted like that was her. Like, uh, 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 I can't put it on. I can't save my aunt. Fuck my aunt. I just did all of that for this serum. I can't, uh, 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 I can't do it. Oh, fuck her. Let's just go to her funeral. Less responsibilities. Bro. Spider-Man. And Doc Ock is still alive. So he did all that. He's like, the anti-serum. Gets the anti-serum and decides not to use it, not to save his aunt. And that's it. Like, hi, hi. I cannot I imagine. This is garbage story. Garbage. Oh, that was so bad. This is so bad. There's no reason he could not give her the anti-serum. That made up reason of, there might not be enough to help the others. She's dying now. She's running that whole operation. She's important. And he created his villain. This is horrible. You do make you a hell of a chicken, chicken curry. This is so <laughs> bad. The Masons have Spider-Man trapped in the ugliest, most unintelligent, stupidest situations. All for moral... You know, you can always... Goodness? Stupid. And he still doesn't have a place to stay. No. I mean, I mean, he does I, I, not have I mean, a place yes, to I, stay. No, 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 he does no, not no, have no, a no, home. No, and he just no, saved no, the city again and again no, and again and again. Now him and MJ are back. Woo. What? That's the end? Garbage. Garbage. That's how they ended it. Wow. Wow. That's bad. He wanted her to die. He was like, don't be alive anymore, Aunt May. It's time for you to go. I can't do it. I can't save you. I can't keep you around anymore. I don't want to talk to you anymore. No more calls of you interrupting me. I just want to be Spider-Man. No more family holding me back. Fuck my family. I just want to be Spider-Man out in these streets. I don't want money. I don't want a home. I don't want fucking any responsibilities besides the power that I have to beat the fuck out of people who are doing something that I'm judging is bad for the Matrix. God damn, Spider-Man. That's savage. I see you. Because that's only intentional at that point. He intentionally killed Aunt May. So, cool. Spider-Man PS4. I'm glad I didn't uh, know about the story because I would have found out that Spider-Man actually killed Aunt May. Uh, that was a plot twist. Like, I I knew she was going to die. I didn't know that he was going to kill her. That shit's crazy. Like, he literally had to see him right in his hands. I just... he I died. Like, he died, like, four different times in that fight with Dr. Octopus. 
to get that serum just so that he could kill his aunt. That shit's crazy. What a plot twist. All right, Spider-Man. Thank you, Masons. So this is how the Masons uh, write Spider-Man. This is how they view Mercury. And when we say this is how Masons view Mercury, this means this is how they view intelligence. This is how they want you to view intelligence. This is how they want you to view communication. This is how they want you to view analysis. This is how they want you to view the ability to intellectualize and basically be conscious. So when you're conscious in this realm, they want you to act like Spider-Man, basically. Like all the ways that you communicate are your Mercury planet. When you look in astrology, that's what Mercury is about. So when you think about the way that you communicate, the way you analyze and the way you think, this is what builds all the structures that allow you to experience life. So the way that Spider-Man communicates and the way that Spider-Man thinks, the way that he analyzes the environment, that's his superpower, right? Like these are all his superpowers. Like he was smart before he became Spider-Man and then being Spider-Man enhanced his ability to communicate and do all those things. But the way that he does it is not at all stable. It's not at all healthy and it's not at all like grounded in his reality. It's completely fire. Like I get it, like he's a Leo. So if we're just going to make that comparison, a Leo versus a Taurus, a Leo is like Spider-Man. He just wants to be out there expressing his imagination, even if he doesn't have anything to stand on. He literally doesn't have a home to stand on, but he's going to keep going out and being Spider-Man, right? He's going to go keep saving the city, even though he can't even afford to go buy food. Like he can't even afford to go travel to a different country. Like, he has no money to his name, but he's serving the people who made money to enslave him. I ain't getting too nervous. Hey, all right, so where do you want this? Uh, where is one? All right. And then he kills his family members. Hey, so Pete. What? Yeah. I, uh, what's his family thought? Something I can't tell my mom. What's up? What's up? Well, um, he got bit. Weird things have been going on. He's Spider-Man too. Like physically. Oh. Oh, the puberty talk. Don't worry, Peter. It's just him being Spider-Man. Well, you know, you're at that age where your body starts to change. And so you may be noticing some areas. No, not that. Not that. Right. Just jump into the ceiling. He's better that I just um i show you. I'm about to go invisible. What do you think he was about to He's about to whip out that, that dick. <laughs> yeah, so they want you with your Mercury energy they don't want you to build anything stable. They don't want you to build anything that supports yourself. Because the moment you build something stable that supports yourself, you're basically your own government and you don't need the Masonic New World Order, the JU World Order, to uh, do things for you anymore. And white people need to be needed. This is why they created slavery in uh, the extensive, extent, crazy extensive way. Like, I don't even need to get into all that because now this video is not even about that. Crazy extensive ways whatever that we've seen in American history, right? In American history, we see that white people created slavery because they need black people to need them. And this is where you can watch many shows. One show, for example, Atlanta out right now, shout out Donald Glover. You can see in that show that when black people go out, go off, whatever, go into their own circumstance to create their own government, white people come and terrorize them and bomb them and kill them. Tulsa, Oklahoma is one of many examples, actually. So the whole point is that the Matrix needs you. You don't need the Matrix. This is why the Matrix uses police to come after you. It'll use agents to come after you. The Matrix will use doctors to come after you. The Matrix will use tax collectors to come after you. The Matrix will use all these different individuals to come after you because the Matrix needs your energy. You need your own energy. 
as an individual. So the matrix cannot exist if it's not stealing the energy of individuals like you and me. So the moment you connect with yourself and actually become a true spiritual Spider-Man, now you can actually build something that supports how you connect with yourself. And the moment you start building something that supports how you connect with yourself, you're basically your own government. Like you look like at that point, you don't need a government outside of you to control how you're connecting with the environment because you're so connected with yourself. You're creating the environment that allows you to connect with the universe in the way that you want. And then this is literally you naturally bring heaven to earth. So right now, up to this point, you've already brought heaven to earth just by making a human body that allows you to have sex with other people and eat food and go to parties and do drugs and play sports and enjoy dopamine bursts in your brain from reading a good book on a rainy day type shit. Like all the pleasures of life, like you've already brought heaven to earth by figuring out what you like to do and using your body to do that. And by creating a body that you can do that in the first place and do that with other individuals, do that with people that you can actually relate with type shit. So this is all like literally you as a space creating the circumstance with your vibrational soul where you can feel like the structures that you are manipulating actually matter. And then this is where you're going to create the matter that allows you to experience your life based on how you combine your fire and water, your man and woman, and then your air is your child. And then your home is literally your earth. Spider-Man literally doesn't have a fucking home. So elementally, like alchemically, hermetically, he's literally communicating in such an unstable, chaotic type way that he can't even use his mind to create a home where he can be safe, where he can return to, where he can like sleep. He doesn't have his own space in physical reality so he hasn't built his own structure and the whole point is that this is masonic witchcraft this is marvel's masonic witchcraft for programming how they want you to communicate and how they want you to connect and how they want you to spend your time so that's why spider-man is a time weaver and in general spiders are all about weaving time so the longer you're connecting the bigger of a structure you're building. It's that simple. It's that simple. That's how nature works. That's how your soul works. So right now, every heartbeat you have, every heartbeat you generate, that's a connection that vibrationally manifests as this motion to allow your body to exist. And then this is where now, based on your heartbeat, you can connect with things that your heart loves or that your heart hates, right? But now everyone knows that the heart represents connection and represents what matters to you and that the heart itself is the matter that allows you to connect with everything that matters outside of you. So the point is you knowing that you're creating structures out of space by connecting with yourself. That's Spider-Man. He should have really dope structures. Like Spider-Man should have really, really dope structures considering how intelligent he is in his ability to connect with himself and like do science experiments and like manipulate the world around him to make sense of how he connects with himself. That's all the Virgo energy he has. Because he's not only connects with himself, but he can make that shit make sense logically. Like he doesn't have a home, right? But he has hella technology. Like he, again, developed so much technology, even in this game, just on side missions and shit. Because his mind is that analytical. It's like on that Mercury inventive stuff. But the point is, Marvel wants to program you and me and everyone who is on Earth to be as unstable as possible. And by being unstable, we won't be able to build our own governments that support us. And instead, we'll have to support child molesters and rapists and thieves and murderers and in general, white supremacists.
were so close. But yeah, we didn't get Green drop. Goblin in this game. So, the second game I is going to have to snap. I will. And he just I saves his villains so that he can keep... So that's Harry in there? Oh, that's crazy. Well, then how am I talking to Harry in these research side missions? Unless that's a different son. But I, I'm pretty sure he only has one son. We beat the game. You finish the main story, the adventure continues. You can now change the time of day in research stations. Or start a fresh adventure with ultimate difficulty or new game plus. New game plus might be a move. If new game plus is me being able to carry over everything, then I might do that. Okay. Congrats, Spider-Man. You saved the city. And you still are in poverty. So, we'll... There will be more episodes. So, we're concluding this one. We finished the story. Very dope. But we do have more story in the form of DLC. Curry, you're back. How's your mom? Fine. Right back to complaining about not having grandchildren. So, you gonna take that vacation now? Are you crazy? There's no time for that. The apocalypse didn't happen, which means we've got a city full of loose ends to clean up. Sounds like a big job, but we're up to it. Not you. For a job this tough, we need Spider Cop. Oh! <laughs> you, you said it! Yeah. You even did the voice! Okay, don't make it weird. You like me. You really like me. You made it weird. Let's go. We've got work to do. I can't wait. Spider Cop surveys the city. Placid, but seething with turmoil just beneath its calm surface. Uh, what have I done? Yeah, all right. Main story 91%, so there's a 9% that has a hit. And then we have all these. So, this has been Marsville's SP Widerman. He killed his aunt. He saved two of his villains so that they could come back and kill more people and uh, give him more of a purpose. And he still doesn't have a place to live because he's using his genius to serve people who are stealing from him instead of building a structure that actually allows him to be supported in his space. Don't be like this Spider-Man. <laughs> Marvel Spider-Man is garbage. I'm pretty sure uh, that's the lessons that we learned. So this is everything not to do with your spirituality, but you've also just learned the actual origin of Spider-Man so you can transcend all this garbage and not get programmed subconsciously and everything. Did this because I love you. I literally do not have to be here. See you later. Yeah.